Hello, right, I've got a car, but I'm in a train, and we're going under the sea from Dover to Calais in France on the Channel Tunnel. And I'm here with Matt Denton, and we've got the Mantis robot in the trailer. And we've also got Giant Lego, so check out Matt's channel for more Giant Lego and some more on the Mantis robot. And we're going to make a fair in Hanover in Germany, so we're going to drive through France, through Belgium, the Netherlands, and then into Germany. All right, see you in another country. Right, we've just driven through France, through Belgium, and we're just driving into the Netherlands, and then we're going to drive out of the Netherlands and into Germany. And it's about half past four local time. We set off at six, and we've still got 245 miles to go. <laughs> Hooray! I'd rather, rather I didn't know that. This is a Maker Fair banner. We've just got here. It's uh, about half past nine local time, which is half past ten UK time, and we're just trying to find where we're going so we can unload. Right, it's the morning of the first day, so we're setting up the Mantis, and it's pretty early. We've got five shows a day, and this is a shorter day because it's for students only, so there's one almost every hour. The other two days are a bit more relaxed, so we need to get this off the trailer and get ready for the public. So there's a few foot repairs going on there to deal with the uh, load cell that works out the pressure on the foot. So I've got the display here and Matt's down there just turning a nut. And we need to get this to read zero. 73, 83. Right, this is an annual show and it's pretty big. There looks like two halls inside, which are fairly huge, and also an extensive outside area. There are a lot of interesting exhibits at Maker Faire, including dancing flowers and a self-made submarine. There's also a lot of Lego and this car with uh, Lego plates on that you could build Lego all over. The R2D2 Builders Club Germany were there. It was a very nice chopper built by Ollie, which is all uh, moulded and cast in fibreglass. And there are a few cosplayers as well, although I asked them to do this for the camera, so uh, that's why they're not too enthusiastic looking. This is Andreas and his open source robot arm project um, and you may have seen this in the 3D printing subreddit on reddit.com and you should check out his website which is chaoslabs.de Right, we're at Hafen which is a 200 square meter maker space in Hanover and there's a big maker gathering and it's the first night of Maker Faire, and this place is absolutely huge and very well equipped. There's a very well equipped and very clean woodworking shop, and lots and lots of other facilities. That's a big dust extractor. The actual shows for the Mantis took place almost every hour, so we had five shows a day and the show was for three days and the shows lasted about 20 minutes. So we took a walk and uh, walked down between the trees there and turned round and came back. Now the top speed for the Mantis is around one kilometer per hour and it takes two liters of uh, diesel roughly to do that one kilometer. So uh, we didn't get much else done in most of the shows apart from walking around and showing off some of the other features. My job was to stay behind the Mantis looking for children walking out under the legs, uh, mainly because that's the blind spot, but we did have some other helpers from Lake Affair as well. 
The Mantis seemed to be the main attraction. They had Mantis imagery all over the flyers and all in posters round in Hanover city centre. So there's quite a lot of press attention there from uh, various photographers from publications as well as from the show itself. Everyone of course wanted their picture with the Mantis, even droids. That's the German R2-D2 Builders Club again. And that's BB-8 having his picture in the driver's seat. So we've actually found the third hall, which has got lots more stuff in. The Model Railways, Fisher Technique Builders Community, Arduino, Pytop, and lots of other electronics and interesting things. This is the Fisher Technique Builders Community. Fisher Technique is a bit like Lego, it's a construction kit, but it's a German product. So it mainly shows up at German shows, although I believe it is available internationally. We also had Pi Top, which is a Raspberry Pi laptop, which is 3D printed, and I met those guys at previous shows. There was an excellent little model village with tiny radio controlled vehicles. The guy's got a bit of a problem there, jackknifing his articulated lorry. But you can see he's controlling it, and you can see how big it is. Outside we had a big display of boats. There was also a boating lake where they had speedboats and things going around. There were also various flying models and there was a big net for demoing helicopters and you can see here the guys flying upside down and doing all sorts of tricks. There's another special video about giant 3D printed Lego that you should check out in my channel. Right, it's the morning of the last day of the show, so every day we get some assistants to help us. So here they are. As well as walking demos for the Mantis, we showed how accurate the computer control system is, which controls all 18 valves in unison. And the robot's very powerful, so if it didn't do that, the robot would tear itself apart. So we used various things during the demo there on the black box. And one of these was a balloon, which we didn't squash by showing that the Mantis can move the whole machine around and leave that one foot in place. Sometimes we described that there was an imaginary child standing there, uh, but most of the time we used an object. So here it is with the whole machine moving up, and of course that foot stays exactly in place there, so it doesn't squash the imaginary child's head. Of course, if we wanted to, we could squash it with about 250 kilograms of pressure, so no problem there. We also squash melons, eggs and potatoes, or whatever else was available. Right, it's the end of the show. We've done the last Mantis demo. We did five a day each day. And now we've got some beer that's been made by a company that makes beer, because this is Maker Fair. So don't forget to check out my channel for more videos about Maker Fair in 360 and normal videos. All right, that's all for now. Bye.